have your notebook and a pen. We'll see Claw and Moose Cousins. Here, your best is always cool. Come and learn at Overall School. Hello. I'm Mrs. Overall. Welcome to Overall School. Today we're going to be using one hand to learn the motion that goes along with this vowel, short I. All these little dots remind me of itching, which is what I am doing. This is overall! This is overall! Yes, Claw. Why are you scratching? I'm scratching because I am so itchy. I was working in the garden today and there were black flies and they bit me all along my hairline. I don't have hair. Oh uh, yes, so you don't have a hairline and I don't have skin, right? So your skin wouldn't be itchy. You have that exoskeleton. And so you wouldn't be itchy nearly as often as I would be because my skeleton is on the inside. I have skin and skin can get bitten Skin can get rashes. What do you mean, bitten? Well, black flies or gnats. Uh, some people use this that for the to mean the same thing. Uh, gnats can bite you. Mosquitoes can bite you, and they will make you itch. Oh. Also, people uh, have skin, and you can get a rash on your skin. That means that your skin uh, gets bumps on it or may turn red. Sometimes people get uh, a rash from allergies. Sometimes people get a rash from poison ivy. Mr. Overall was taking some uh, poison ivy down from along a fence, not here, in Maryland. And it broke the, he broke the parts of the poison ivy off. He didn't realize it was poison ivy. Uh-oh. And he had a rash. He was very itchy. Did he get dots? He, well... He had red skin, but yeah, these dots can be like chicken pox or like allergy dots or mosquito bites or gnats or black flies, but they remind us of the sound that short eye makes. If, 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 that the short I makes the I, I, I sound like you hear at the beginning of the word itching. Well, let's practice it. We'll get our one hand and practice the sound of the letter I. Short I, this is the short vowel I. Long I, we'll learn about later, says I, like an ice cream, but that's not today. Today, we want the I sound. So be thinking about that, the short sound of I. And we'll review. The other ones as well, the other letters that we've... Ooh, we're getting quite a few. Ready? One hand. Short I. Eh, 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 eh
horizontal line. So a long vertical line and two short horizontal lines. It doesn't matter to me whether you do the top first or the bottom first. It doesn't matter. A lowercase i comes straight down and then it has a dot above it. Sometimes people just like to touch the dot. Sometimes people make circles over the dot. I think that slows you down, but it does look interesting. So there's an uppercase I and a lowercase I. I can find the uppercase I on this alphabet. Can you? There it is right there. Let's sing the entire alphabet song. These are the letters in alphabetical order. Ready? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. On the back, here are the lowercase letters, and we're going to stop at the letter I. Ready? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, I is near the middle of the alphabet. It's not in the first line. It's not in the last line. We stop about in the middle of the alphabet there for the letter I. So, hmm, can you, any of you think of something that begins with I, 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 I. Yes. Ooh, that's a big word. Imagination. That's when you can see pictures in your head or get ideas in your head that maybe nobody has thought about before. That's quite a long word. It has five syllables in it. Syllables are parts of words. So we have imagination. That's an enormous word. I like it. How about another I, I, I word? Invention. Oh, you guys are coming up with qu some quite long words today. Let's see. Invention. Three syllables in that one. If you have an imagination, maybe you can think of an invention. Something that nobody has made before. No one has invented before. Cool. How about another I, 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 I word? Yes? In. Ah! That's the first syllable in invention, just in. Yes, the cat came in today. She wanted to come in for her nap. Usually she's outside for her nap, but today she came in. Cool. And in, I don't have anything in my pocket. Now I do. I have a pocket in my overalls. Actually, I have quite a few pockets in my overalls. So today, do any of you have a word, or a word, a name that begins with a capital I? Because names always begin with capital letters. I, 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 I. No, you're not Indiana Jones. <laughs> Somebody does have the letter I in their name, but it's actually not the short sound of I, it's the long sound of I. Yes, it's you, Iris. Iris, your name begins, I'm gonna get it a little closer so my friends down here can see, because I know you know how to spell it. Can you tell me how to spell it, Iris? Wait, wait, hang on, okay. Iris, capital I, oops, that wasn't very neat. Iris, what's next? R, I, ooh, you have an uppercase and a lowercase. Iris, yes, you're right. That R isn't very neat. Iris, Iris. Iris, did you know that your name is also a science word if you're talking about uh, your I on your face? This colored part, this colored circle that I have, it's a blue iris. Mr. Schaffner has a brown iris, that colored part. Some people have green irises. Some people have black irises. And they're beautiful. 
And what color is yours? Oh, yeah. Brown. You don't have white in your eyes like I do. Here, we'll show them. Look at the moose cousin just has brown where I have white. And then you can see my blue iris and then the black dot in the middle, that's the part that does the seeing, that's called the pupil. Ha! Kind of like I have all these moose cousins to be my pupils. Words can mean different things. I think it's so interesting. Okay, well, iris, let me put the uppercase and lowercase i on your page uppercase and lowercase right in that little corner and then you and you can help the cousins but you're the illustrator oh illustrator you're the I I illustrator today you can make your illustrations on this page cool here you all oh, you you hold that for her okay because she's not quite ready Five, four, three, two, one, and done. The Moose Cousins are done. They have their capital I, lowercase i, and then, ooh, these are very interesting pictures. I'm not sure I know what they are. Oh, iguana. Yes, it's a kind of lizard. I see that now. It has a long body, one, two, three, four legs. An iguana, I get it. And this, hmm, it can't be a donut because it, all these words begin with eh, eh, eh. Inner tube, oh yeah. When you go floating down the river, you can sit in an eh, eh, inner tube. I get it. Okay, yes, nice job. Eh, 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 pictures today. Claw, what do you want to draw? for eh, 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 insect. Do you know that I went looking for insects and I couldn't find one and when I don't even want to find one, there's lots of those buggers around. Well, yes, uh, I, I, that happens to me too, but I haven't seen an insect today. Not yet. Well, you know what, one, I actually, one did fly through, but it wasn't anything that, that was catchable, I don't think. So here, uh, what do you know, before you draw, what do you know about insects? Well, they have three parts to their body. Yes. And six legs. Okay, and six legs. 
Sometimes antennas. Sometimes antennas, yeah. Sometimes uh, wing covers. Yeah. Okay. Well, I tell you what. So three body parts. Here, go ahead. Do you know the names of them? No. Okay, three body parts. I'll tell you. First, you make the head. That's the first body part. Then beside it right here, make the thorax. That's the part where the legs come out. Ooh, you're getting better at that. And then the back here would be the abdomen. My abdomen is my belly. And then I have legs attached to that. But insects have their abdomen back here and their legs usually attached to their thorax. So go ahead and make the abdomen. Ah, okay. Now, did you want antennas? And how about legs? You know what? This looks like an ant. Yes, it does. Ant, antennas, abdomen. Too bad we're not doing the, the short A today. That's okay. It's an insect. An ant is an insect. Yes, and a grasshopper. And uh mama wee and a honey bee yeah we need legs oh okay one two three legs on one side now the the legs on the other side maybe if you make them look a little shorter that could because they're farther away You know what? Insects have really cool eyes. They're, a lot of them have compound eyes. So when I look at you, I see one claw. When they look at you, they would see lots of claws. Cool. So a compound eye is kind of... Oh, that's a big one. <laughs> a compound eye, sometimes people draw it like this. They have lots of lines in there too. Oh, cool. So that's my nice job on the insect oh oh wait could you write that down sure sure we don't write down your words every day but i can write insect down insect insect two syllables the first syllable is in in and then we have set eh We'll put that with the, the other words. Okay, nice job on your insect claw. Thanks! You're welcome. Hi, Iris. You're my helper today. Come on down. Your name begins with a capital I, doesn't it? Yes, a capital I. And it actually uses the long sound of I in Iris. So here is the capital I, but we're not going to make that. Capital I's, capital letters are always antler letters. And we work on lowercase letters because mostly that's what we use. So the I on this side, if we look at it here, it's a box letter, but then it has a dot right up here. So Iris, do you have any idea how we could make that dot? You're gonna be a box letter, but what about the dot? Oh, you are the one that got these out of here. Yeah, Claw's Ball Collection. We can use that for the dot. Okay, so here. You climb in the box because I is a box letter with a dot. Yes, not an antler letter, not a leg letter. There, you're right in the box. And then I can have that dot right up there. Take a look at that. It's going to be a box dot. So first we make the box. And then we make the dot. I'm going to put this right here on top of the box only uh, because I can't make it be in the middle of the air. But when we make it, it's not way up here. It's not right on the box like I have it. It's in the, it's in the space, in the antler space there. So here. If this is the box, top of the box, bottom of the box. Then I'm going to start and I'm going to come straight down. And then here's the dot. It's in the middle of the antler space. Now, I don't want to make a cannonball, a huge one, but I don't want to make a little 
tiny one either, just one that you can see that's right above the eye. Let me try that again. Fox dot. Oh, that's a tiny little dot. And that's a cannonball. No, not like that. Just one right above it. If I put it over here, no. I have to get it right above it. Fox dot. Fox, dot. That's the same thing we say when we make our pattern down the side. Okay, Iris, come on. We'll make five lowercase eyes. Whoop, there goes the dot. That's all right. We don't need it anymore. We'll make five lowercase eyes, and my friends at home will make five lowercase eyes as well. And when they're done, they'll look at the brick, and when we're done, we'll, we'll look at the brick. Okay, ready? Work at a medium speed. Oh. Okay. Oh, you're looking. But you know what? You need to look at which eye is your favorite and, and see if you can make five more just like it. My friends at home will do that. And you and I will do that. You find your favorite one? Now try to make five that are just that neat or even neater. Ooh, you're getting better. Practice makes progress. And then circle your favorite and they'll circle their favorite. Would you like me to show them, Iris? Oh, you want to show them? Okay, here, you help hold the book. I'll help you hold the book. You bumped the camera, Iris. That's okay. Very nice job. I bet some of theirs look just as nice as yours. It's now time to take a little break. If you want to continue working on your writing or your drawing or your pattern, that's fine with me. But if you want a little wiggle break, Now's the time to do that. So you can stand up. As a matter of fact, I have a song that starts with stand up. The, the directions are in it. Stand up, get the wiggles out, and run in place. That means don't go anywhere. Just keep your feet in the same spot. Run in place. Now flap your elbows and turn around. And we'll do that again. Stand up, get the wiggles out, and run in place. Then flap your elbows and turn around. And then it goes like this. And let all the cousins say all right, all right. And let all the cousins say all right, all right. And let all the cousins say all right. And overall school. One, two, three, four. Stand up, get the wiggles out and run in place. Now flap your elbows and turn around. Stand up, get the wiggles out and run in place. Then flap your elbows and turn around. And let all the cousins say all right, all right. And let all the cousins say all right, all right. And let all the cousins say all right at overall school. Ooh, 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 ooh. One, two, three, down. Ready to listen and read and write. We've been talking about the sound of the short I. I, 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 I. It's in this word, sit. See if you can figure out how many sounds are in sit. I'll use my rail. You can use your arm and we'll try it. We'll say it slowly. Sit. Sit. Three sounds in the word sit. So, hmm, if I give you letter necklaces, we can, See how it's written. 
e Yes, good helpers for the word sit. We have the word sit, but what if I change this vowel? Vowels are tough. And here's a red I vowel. I'm going to change it to an A. So let's use our one hand and figure out what this word is. This, let's do the sounds. Ah. Sat. Let's go ahead and write the word sat. Fox, box, antler on your page. Just below all those eyes that we've made. Who wants to be the writer today, guys? Okay, go ahead. Antler. <laughs> Did yours look like that? Here's another word. Let's see. Come on down. This time, I need some other friends up here, and I'm going to give you letter necklaces. And then we'll see if our friends can figure out what this word is. There are three sounds in this word. Well, actually, why don't you come up and be the first one? Because you already have the necklace on. And let's get your one hand ready. And let's try it. Tin. Maybe you've heard of that word, maybe you haven't. It's a metal that cans used to be made from. Tin. Antler, fox with a dot, fox. Go ahead and write the word tin. Oh, I see you have the marker already. Yes, you can be the writer. Like that. And then come on down. Well, actually, you can stay up there. And I need somebody. Yep, you haven't had a turn yet. Come on up. And you have this one. Let's say our sounds. Mm, e, s. Mm. Well, this, these are the sounds that are in the word miss, but miss is tricky. The letters at the end of each row are what we call floss letters. We have F, L, S, and Z. In fact, that's why they call them floss, floss. Mm, with a Z in the end. S, because it's here, if you hear it at the end of a word, often it's an SS. It's, sometimes I call them twin letters. So I need another friend. How about you? You don't have a letter on yet. You're gonna have to get real close to her because you are make, gonna make one sound. Two letters, but one sound. Okay, so let's try it again. Mm, eh, and then get two hands. This is how you spell miss. If you throw something and don't hit what you're aiming for, that's a miss. 
miss. That's right, the word miss. Box, they're all box letters, but we do have a dot on that one. Go ahead and write the word miss. Oh yes, I think ours, we can, I think we can fit three words on this line. Some of our friends might have to go underneath, but as long as they make room somewhere, that's fine. You can see the moose cousins. Miss. We've been talking about short I, the eh, eh, eh. Well, short I, I is a vowel. It's another one of those harder ones. It has more than one sound. Here are the vowels. Whoops. Here are the vowels. <laughs> Let's say them. Ready? A, E, I, O, U. Again, A, E, I, O, U. Again, A, E, I, O, U. Again, A, E, I, O, U. That's all. And sometimes why? Claw's word was insect. It, remember it has three body parts? Well, this one has six letters, insect. And the first syllable of insect is one of our sight words. In, in. The cat went in the house, in. Oops. And this one you can figure out with one hand phonics also. It, it is a nice day. It is fun to learn to read. Sometimes it is hard to learn to read, but you do your best. Well, let's put these words that we have in with the other, in with the other words that we have. I'll give you three seconds and then I'll say it. In. Insect. It. C, I, am, look, at, the, at, anaconda. An, a, Tyrannosaurus, in, insect, it, it is time to be done. See you next time at Overall School. <laughs>